And this is our fermentation area. Uh, what we do is we control the temperature in here. Each one of these containers represents an individual batch. Uh, we're starting off with some two-roll uh, Canadian barley from southern Saskatchewan. And that's going to go through a grinder. And that's going to roll the husks off and expose the starchy center of the grain. Once it's browned, it's going to be augered up and it's going to go up into our mash tun. You can think of the mash tun as being the cooking pot. Uh, different temperatures, different enzymes will react and convert the starch in the grain over to a sugar. Once it's fully cooked or mashed, we drop it down into what's called a lauder tun. That's got a wedge wire screen at the bottom. The purpose of the screen is to hold the grain up while we run warm water through the grain. Well, as we're running warm water through the grain, it'll drag away all those available sugars and the flavors from the malt. And now we're gonna pump it from the grant over into the large brew kettle. We may take some of the wort off if we're gonna make a specialty beer. If somebody's looking for a, uh, a Mexican style or a European style lager, we'll take some of the base from the big kettle, add it into a small kettle with an adjunct. The adjuncts may be uh, invert sugar, we may use rice extract, we may use wheat extract. At the end of the brewing process, it's going to go down through a pump, filter, heat exchanger, and uh, then we're going to oxygenate it slightly as we're running it off. Uh, at that point, the beer is now ready to be pitched, and we'll have the customer come in and initiate fermentation by adding yeast to the beer. A lot of people, when they're uh, making wines and beers at home, it's a matter of the, I would want to say, the fuss and the bother. Here, we basically get the consistency because of the equipment, and we make it easy because of the equipment also that's in here. And also the staff has good knowledge, and they can assist you right through the process. Uh, a lot of times when folks are making at home, it, either they'll make a mistake, or they may be using inferior products, in which case they'll say, oops, I made a mistake, it's not good. Well, you don't have to worry about that with us. We'll guarantee your product, and uh, we both have the skill and the experience on making whatever you'd like to do. The stigma that comes along with our industry, there's a lot of people who haven't done a good job. They've gone into Uber shops, they've made products, and they, it's not palatable. You know, and they say, well, I'm never doing that again. You know, uh, somebody goes out for dinner and they have a bad meal at a restaurant. You say, well, I'm never going back to that restaurant again. You're still going to go out for dinner. People go to a brew shop, they spend a hundred bucks, they get something that's just not palatable. They'll say, well, I'm just never doing that again. You know, and it's something that we've worked against. And kind of from the late 90s till now, you know, you've kind of seen the industry hasn't flourished. And a big part of it is the lack of quality. Now, having said that, we're an anomaly. We've never slipped back. We've always kind of, you know, even if the growth has been moderate, we've always managed to keep on growing, which is how we end up being the busiest shop in BC now.